This is what my bone tokens look like. They are 3D printed as one piece and then stained. However, compared to the in-game model, there's a bit too much contrast between the bone and the coin, which I'm not too happy with. Also, there is some leakage of stain on most of the tokens, which looks a bit meh. To fix this, I can print and stain the coin part separately, then add the bone into it. However, I recently found out that depending on how you stain them, you can get different looks. To figure out which shade I like the most, I printed a buttload of coins. Follow along on my journey to find the perfect stain for my bone tokens. In order to test this properly, I needed to upgrade my floor station to a workstation. For testing, I'll be using these highly scientific muffin forms to have my mixture of stain in. The stains I'll be using are these, white and uh, middle brown. That's what it's called in Swedish at least. Since I'm only interested in the ratio between the stains and not the amount, I'll be using this tool. There will be a total of 6 milliliters in each form, but with different ratios in them. This is pretty boring to look at, so I'll speed it up a bit. Here I just mix the mixtures. In my previous video, I found out that if I stain a part in white stain first, then brown, the outcome is a more golden brown color. So for each mixture, I'll be dipping both an unstained and a white stained coin. So a little later, with the coins dried a bit, this is what I have. This is how an unstained and white stained coin differ. The stained is a bit more shiny, otherwise no difference in color. I'll be speeding up this part too, because it's incredibly boring to look at. So that's all the coins stained, let's let them dry. And ta-da! This is what it looked like. I added the bones into the coins to help see what they will look like. However, I was not happy with the experiment and the white stained tokens. The result here is much more different than from my original test coin. I do not feel confident with the white stained coins here and I won't be considering them in the experiment, unfortunately. Also, these two coins stand out being much darker than the transition above would suggest them to look like. I'm just going to remove them. The tricky part is finding a good color that works in both bright and dark settings. Check this out. In a dimly lit room, I would say the leftmost stained coin looks the best. But when I turn up the blinds, I think that that coin looks too bright. I compare a few coins, but in the end I decide for this one. It's the best middle ground and the mixture is 50-50 between white and middle brown stain, which makes it easier. Using the scientific muffin forms again, I'm making a mixture in this plastic glass.
Then it's time to stain the rest of the bone points. For some reason I decided to use my pliers to take off the coins, but it was quite troublesome as I couldn't really get a good grip on the coins. I really struggle here. I've shortened this part too. Unfortunately, my camera lost focus here. I just poured out the last stain, dropped the coins, then poured it back so I could reuse the stain later. And here I realize it's out of focus. Some plastic on to make it smell less. Swoosh! It's tomorrow, and these are the coins. And I printed some more bones. One thing I noticed is that you get these dark spots. It's pretty noticeable when you compare them with other coins. Not really something I can do about now, but it does bother me the tiniest bit. The bones fit into the coins pretty well, but they fall out pretty easily too, so I'm going to super glue in the bones into the coins. The coins have one side which has a little lip, where I plan to put the glue in. In hindsight, I'm not sure superglue was the best decision. The glue I have is a bit troublesome, as even after putting down the tube, it continues to push out glue. I tried putting glue on the bone, but I just got more glue on my fingers. It also creates strings of glue, which get everywhere and drag things around. These tokens feel like USB ports. You think you know what way they will go in, and when it doesn't, you turn it around and it still doesn't fit. So you turn it around again, and this time it fits. I dropped one bone earlier, so I just took one from the experiment tokens. I ended up with a lot of glue on my fingers. Okay, the gluing is done, let's see how it turned out. Cue the ambience. That's pretty much it. Thanks for sticking this long into the video. Before you go, leave a like thanks. This whole thing has been pretty epic, as it only started as a throwaway comment in my previous video. I'm super happy with the results. Yeah, again thanks. I'm not really sure how to end the video.